Chapter 1, Section 4, the distributive property. We've already used this property quite a bit, so uh, we're going to get right into it. When you think of the word distribute, um, what comes to my mind is uh, our church every now and then will do a mission trip to different areas, maybe someplace uh, in Oklahoma. We've gone to Kansas a couple of times. We've had the opportunity to go to Honduras. And I think of distributing like I'm handing out materials or I'm handing out snacks. And when we go to these these mission trips, we hand out the same thing. Um, maybe we hand out uh, material. Maybe it's candy. Maybe it's toys. Maybe it's clothes. Whatever the case may be, we hand out the same type of thing. So distributing is that same type of thing. Let's say I have this example. And the number that I'm going to distribute is the 4. What I'm doing with that four is I'm distributing it inside to everything. I look at the X and the eight as maybe people that I'm distributing that four to. Okay, so we're distributing that four to the X and to the eight. Parentheses mean multiply, so that's gonna take four, and I'm gonna write every step here. I'm gonna have four times X plus four times 8. And we will show all of our steps to start out with. Once we get better with it, we'll eliminate this step, but you will need to show these steps. So now that gives me 4x plus 32. Because the 4 has an x on it, and the 32 does not, that means that they are not like terms and I can go no further. So my answer would be 4x plus 32. Now let's look at a problem that would be really simple if I just put it in the calculator, 14 times 51. But I can also rewrite this using the distributive property. I look at 51 and I see that it's very close to 50. So my 14 is going to stay on the outside and I'm going to rewrite 51 to be 50 plus 1. And so my distributive property would tell me 14 times 50. And then 14 times 1. That will give me 700 plus 14, which is a final answer of 714. Now, watch on your work tomorrow that um, that you do what they ask you to. Some of them will just ask you to rewrite it. Some of them will ask you, some of the questions will say rewrite it and solve. So make sure that you read the directions properly. Okay, so I want you to take these two examples And I want you to go ahead and hit pause on the video and use distributed property to simplify as far as you can. Okay, now we're back from your pause, hopefully. Let's see how you did. Negative eight times X, again, showing all the steps. M minus, or negative eight times negative two however you want to write it. That gives me negative 8x. Negative 8 times negative 2 gives me positive 16. Again, they are not like terms, so I can't go any further. This one just looks a little backwards. Still done the same way. Now you have to be careful here. That's going to be 3 times Take the sign down on that x. There's a negative sign in front of it. And then I'm taking 3, which is a positive 3, times 4. You will notice there are no plus signs in there, but I have to do the steps in the right order. 3 times negative x, and then because that 3 is positive, that's why I put that positive sign right there. 
positive 3 times positive 4. That gives me negative 3x plus 12. Okay, let's look at something that maybe there's a variable on the outside. Um, let's go 3 plus 2x. Okay, go ahead and hit pause and see how that one goes. Okay, so we're going to draw arrows. We have 4r times 3 plus 4r times 2x. 4r times 3 is going to give us 12r. Those are both positive, so I know I'm going to have a positive answer here. Take my 4 times 2, which is 8. And when I multiply r times x, it's just rx. Now, the first one has an R, the second one has an R, so so far they're like terms, but the second one has an X, which is going to make it different than the 12R. So these are not like terms, so my answer is 12R plus 8R. X. Okay, now let's look at some things. Maybe um, maybe you get a problem that looks something like that. You may or may not have to do distributive property on this one. There are two methods here. And I'm going to show you both methods, and you choose the one that works best for you. Some of you will look at the first one and go, okay, inside that parentheses, let's see, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I can take that 8 minus 2, and so I can just say 8 minus 2 is 6. Then it's just basic multiplication. 2x times 6 is 12x. Some of you might look at it and go, well, there's two things inside of there. That's distributive property. So we can draw the arrows. We get 2x times 8, which is going to be 16x. And then we get 2x times negative 2. That's going to be negative 4x. I just made a huge mistake. I've been asking you to show all of your work. I need to show all of my work as well. That's going to be 2x times 8 plus 2x times negative 2. So there's where I get my 16x. Positive 2x times negative 2 gives me negative 4x. 16 minus 4 gives me 12. Again, exact same answer two different methods. Most of you will look at the first method and go, that's a lot shorter. That is true. Some of you will like the distributive method better. Whichever one you like, that is fine with me. Okay, one more problem or one more example. What if you ended up with something like this? You're going to have a couple problems where you just need to simplify. This is where we will need to combine like terms. You'll notice that I have y's and y's. So those are like terms. Then I have my lonely o plus 8 here. That's not a like term. So let's put the y's together. I'm going to reorder and I'm going to put them together. What is negative 12y minus 16y? That's going to be negative 28y. And then I just bring down my positive 8. Again, my y's are all together now because they're like terms. 
and then my 8 stands alone. It does not have any variables on it. So a little over 10 minutes, that should take care of it. Chapter 1, Section 4, Distributive Property.